so I'm going to show you how to connect your Wi-Fi to the school's iPad. So there's a few steps. The first step is that we're going to do is that we're going to download the Global Protect app. Now, most iPads should already have this installed, but for whatever reason, it was deleted or it's not on your iPad. This is the first step you're going to be doing. So the first step you're going to be doing is you're going to be going in the app catalog where the red arrow is. Go ahead and click on that. The next step we're going to be doing is that you're going to locate the Global Protect. Now, there's two of them. You're going to be downloading the one that has the white background with the little check mark on it. Go ahead and press install. And once you guys install it, it's going to probably take about a few minutes. But for whatever reason, it's not going to install. Go ahead and um, click on it again, maybe in three or four times. That way, it can finally push it through the iPad. Um, and usually after that, it should going to take no more than about five to ten minutes after that. So this is what the Global Protect app looks like once it's downloaded. Again, it's the one that's circled. Now, usually when you guys, this is probably the main problem that everyone's having. Once you guys are, once you guys tap on the Global Protect app, you're going to be getting a white screen. It's going to be asking the portal address. Now, the portal address, it's going to be the important part. That's what you're going to be typing in order for you guys to access the internet. Now, the, the password that basically is asking for is going to be down here where it says globalprotect.lausd.net. And if you guys are not typing that, you guys will not be able to access the internet at your, at your house, whether you guys are connected or not. So again, it's globalprotect.lausd.net. Now, the second thing you guys have to do, after you guys click confirm, it's going to take you to this gray screen. And it's this gray screen is basically for you guys to connect to the VPN. After you guys just click on that, it's going to take you a green circle three or four times. After that, you guys should be getting a blue screen. And the blue screen basically is confirming you guys saying that you guys are connected to the VPN, which allows you guys to access the internet at your home. Now, to confirm that you guys actually have it, on the top part right over here, where the circle is, you guys should be having a Wi-Fi signal and a VPN. Now, the last step to do is go back to your settings menu and just make sure it's checked off. The VPN is turned on where the red arrow is at. If it's not turned on, you will not be able to access the internet, okay?